Can you tell us about the Dry Stone Walling Association, Derbyshire branch? We're a registered charity and our key aim is to promote the ancient craft of dry stone walling. And we do that in a variety of ways. We get involved with projects with youngsters. Um, we reach out to communities and try and involve them with walling any way we can. Um, and we travel around all over the country to different fairs and shows and country sort of uh, events in order to promote the craft and just put it out there in front of people as well as offering formal and fun courses as well. So we're trying to embrace the craft and put it out there to as many people in the community as possible. How do you think dry stone walling can be promoted better? We do a fair good job at the moment but I certainly think projects such as uh, um, the, the, uh, the Walls Could Talk uh, movie, I think these really promote the craft well. I think it opens it up to new audiences and I think that's possibly the key is to try and open it up to, to new and maybe younger uh, audiences and try and involve them in, in that way. Having watched If Wolves Can Talk, what's your first reaction to it? I was really, really impressed and I was absolutely delighted with the outcome. Um, I know that a lot of people have been involved. I know that it was a, a passion for the makers and um, the result is, is truly stunning. And it's something that's not been done before, certainly in that format or to that quality. So I just think it's a tremendous promotional tool. Um, I believe it's a tremendous educational tool as well. And um, it was a pleasure for our branch to be involved with it. And I know that the people who were involved with it, who were the dry stone wallers, um, they also got a tremendous amount out of, the, out of the process as well. So yeah, truly, a truly wonderful piece of work. Where do you think the film can go from here? Well, I'd like to see the film distributed in, 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 as widely as possible, obviously. I'm selfish, I love dry stone walling, I want to see this out there. But um, I think it's a film that would appeal to many, many people. And I think it will appeal to people in education, people obviously within the craft of walling, but really people with an interest in the, in the countryside as a whole. So I see it as being um, a tremendously wide reaching uh, piece of work. And yeah, I'd like to see it go uh, far and wide, and I'm sure it will. What's the future of dry stone walling? I think the future of dry stone walling is tremendously positive. Um, it's got a great future. Um, there's lots of youngsters that are becoming involved in the craft now, which is really encouraging. But perhaps more interestingly is the fact that it's not just about doing the beautiful field walls and boundaries that we all see in the countryside. Dry stone walling takes you to places where you do sculptural work and um, highly decorative work, which is really where the highly skilled craftsman comes into his own. And there's a lot of that kind of work out there. And the craft has certainly pushed on and developed over the over hundreds of years from this field walling and traditional boundary craft into something uh, much more sophisticated. And so we've got this much wider craft now effectively because we've got the range from the field wall side right up to the highly manicured sculptural work. So it's, um, it's a really positive field to be in um, and it's, it's a wonderfully healthy craft.